Uh, Governor Mark Dayton today renewed his call for the resignations of two state lawmakers accused of sexual harassment at the state capitol. The Democratic governor also ordered a statewide review of government harassment policy. Pat Kessel joins us right now with more. Hi, Pat. Hi, yeah, this is heating up. The governor's comments come just hours after another female at the Capitol filed a sexual harassment complaint. Now at least five women say they were the targets of sexual aggression. The latest is a female staffer who says DFL Senator Dan Schoen sent her a Snapchat photo of male genitals. In the House, a female lawmaker and a lobbyist accused GOP Representative Tony Cornish of lewd behavior. Governor Dayton calling for a statewide review of sexual harassment policies in government. So that we provide a rapid and, and effective and consistent response to anyone who's encountering uh, these kinds of atrocities. And, and they, they sh there's no place for them in the workplace, in government or anywhere else in Minnesota. And we need to do a better job of uh, standing up for those who are, are being uh, oppressed. Well, Senator Schoen and Representative Cornish both denied the sexual harassment allegations. Both are sending signals they are going to fight these charges, even as other women are going public about what they say is an atmosphere of widespread harassment by many people at the state capitol. And I know that you're going to, tonight in Reality Check, you're going to look at the growing number of allegations right. in politics just in general. Uh, yeah, we are. Women around the country are suddenly going public with their stories of sexual harassment. We've been hearing shocking revelations in Hollywood, national media, of course. Now politics. We're going to take a look at state capitals around the country and what Minnesota has and has not done about sexual harassment. All right, Pat, thank you. you we will, of course, have Pat's reality check report tonight at 10 on WCCO4 News.